have in front of me a digital portable TV. It comes with a 10 inch screen and it has both a digital and also an analog tuner built into it. It's available with free delivery directly from freetv.ie. So it comes in this outer box, which we can see here. So the brand is Z Star on it. It just says portable uh, TV. So I like this uh, particular uh, unit. Um, it's, we have a smaller version of this one. This is better because it's bigger, um, marginally more expensive, but the fact that it has an analog tuner in it is very handy as well. So most people obviously are going to be using this, but they get free view or Sear view um, channels directly onto it, and that'll work fine. We're actually running directly off of Sear view aerial here, and just have the Oracus channel on there. But um, something else um, would be that maybe you're running off a head end system that has an analog output, very common would sell these into things like bookie shops, things like that, and they always demand the analog outputs on it. Um, so let's just look at exactly what we get, and then we'll just go through the menu structure and things like that. So that's the box. It comes with a power unit here, so it comes with a, a three pin plug adapter for the Irish UK market. It's a nine volt, the input on it. Uh, then this is one that we could use for charging directly off of your um, uh, car charger, so you could charge it as you go along. And obviously a very common use of this would be if you're using it for long distance journeys. There's a media player built into this, so you can just put in a USB stick here, play your movies back, whatever like that, and have the kids happy. Now it does have a couple of hours once it's uh, charged up that it'll work on. And we actually have it as a little stand here now on a table. And you could use it, let's say, if you were in a bed sitting in an apartment, be able to actually come along and do something like this, okay? So um, you can see the basic screen on it, the, the picture resolution is high definition, so it's very good. All the buttons are on top here in terms of turn, um, the bringing up the menu, um, what do you call it, uh, uh, just volume up and down, changing channels. We also have the outputs here, so we have a switch that's on and off, we have the power input here as well, and then we have AV in and out. So it's using 3.5 millimeter technology, and you can actually connect headphones there as well. And on the far side where we have the aerial plugged in here, we also have a HDMI output on it. So you can run the output from this to a large television. So just say you went to a place and you we're using the media player on this, you can run it directly over to your TV from there. And um, also we'll say, um, you have a USB port here, so you could, that's where you put in your thing with your key, um, MKV or AVI file, something like that. So overall, I would say it's a nice little unit. The little uh, hooks things on the back there, so you could actually hang it displayed on a wall, something like that. And again, that's for some of the commercial applications, that's reasonably common. They'll hang it there, and they'll just have it on the display area, and people can just use and access it there. So like this unit here, um, it's a little bit of a niche product, but it does sell well for us. Probably of the range of televisions we sell, this probably would probably be the most popular uh, right across the range simply because the price point's good, it's very portable um, and it's just a nice uh, compact little unit. Returns on this, what percentage will come back in a year? Definitely less than 1%. This is really good stuff.